Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here and this is what is on my Android or my Nexus 6. Now a lot of you have been wondering how I've configured and what ROM I am using and how I have set up my LMT. But now before we get too crazy, I will have another video coming out shortly if it hasn't already been released of how to use or set up LMT launcher. Now I do have a Pi Control one already released, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys the LMT as this one is a little bit at least in my opinion, cleaner and nicer to use. But in terms of my actual Android device or my Nexus, I am running Chroma for my Nexus 6. It is one of the exclusive ROMs for the Nexus 6. It's only made and developed right now for the Nexus 6. So updates are super quick and you're go probably going to see 5.1, which was just dropped recently, actually today, come out for this, probably one of the first ROMs to have it, I would think or hope. But uh, you are going to notice that you have layer integration with Chroma. And that's just one of the many things that's great about Chroma, as well as the LED notifications and the complete uh, ability to change up and customize your ambient display if you're not going to use the LED notifications. So to show you that real quick, you can go in here and turn on your ambient display. And then you can overwrite the values and go in here and set longer values or shorter values on the initialization of the ambient display. So that's just some real quick information to give you some highlights, but there's a ton of stuff in Chroma and I'll make a video of that once 5.1 is updated and integrated into Chroma. I'll have a full review for you guys coming out shortly. Uh, but in terms of my actual home screen here, you're going to notice I have a lot of customization going on. Um, and I will of course include everything I go over in my description below to get you guys familiarized and give you everything you're going to need if you want to set it up kind of like what I have. And I will Put all of the actual uh, super widgets and what have you in my description as well that you can use and customize to your liking if you want to use anything I have. But in terms of the launcher, I actually use Apex Launcher. Uh, it is free and the free version does give you pretty much everything you need. They do have a pro version, but I, I pretty much stick to the free version. It's got everything I want technically and I think it will for you guys if you use it or want to use it. But you're going to notice if I double tap there, I can pull up my settings real quickly and you can customize this as well within Apex to show you or to remove any of these specific options. Uh, but you basically have wallpaper themes, apps, manage screens, uh, your system or Apex settings, and you can go in there and choose what you want to do. Now, one thing I want to make really clear with Apex for me is I use the default theme. You're going to see up here it has a theme settings. So when you go in here, you're going to have all of your icon packs or your themes that you download. But one thing that I do is just set the default uh, from the get go. So the reason I do this is because I only customize what you see here, because that's pretty much what anyone's going to see. If there's somebody sitting next to me at the table across or the room across from me, this is what they're going to see. They're not going to see my app drawer for the most part. And that's what I mean by defaulted theme. I keep all of this defaulted to keep it easier to navigate for me and for other people. So if you have an icon pack or you download an icon pack, because there's tons of them out there, with each one that you download, they never skin or icon each um, application you have. Because there's just, there's so many out there, it would be impossible for each developer or each uh, artist to actually do that. And they update it as much as they can, obviously. But, you know, if you go in here, you're going to have mixed icons all over the place. And that's something that I just, I personally can't handle. It just, it makes me go crazy. So I keep everything defaulted in the app drawer just to simplify the process. And you can remove applications with Apex as well. You can hide them, so to speak, if you don't want to see them in here. So what I do is I will drag the defaulted application icon to my home screen. And then from there, I will customize it to what I want to do. And I think that's how most people do it, or I would assume most people do it. Maybe not, but that's how I do it. And once I have dr dragged the defaulted icon or app onto my home screen, I will then long press the application and then I will go into edit mode. This is how Apex works. You know, it will just pop up a little menu and from here you can choose to share. It gives you app info, edit, or you can just remove it from your home screen. But you can do the drag, remove, or uninstall as well. Um, and I'll show that real quickly. You know, you'll get a little remove up here. Um, but you can set that up to do pretty much anything you want. But what I do is I customize the skin or the icon once it is on the home screen. So you'll have all of your information here. You can change the application right there if you want to, or you can change the actual uh, description or title. You'll notice I have mine completely disabled. 
Uh, I do that because it's a lot cleaner and easier and simpler and minimal, but you can choose whether or not you want to do that. And then in here, you can also select the icon and from here you can change it. So you're going to see your icon packs will show up. I am in fact using Glyphs by Tokum and these are available from XDA for free and I will include that in the description as well as everything else. But once you click that, it will bring up all of your icon uh, description viewed or detailed viewed and then you just select the one you want from there and then it will put you back on the home screen with the selected icon. So that's how I do my customized home screen look from, from an icon standpoint. You know, I like to keep it very simplified in my draw, uh, my app drawer uh, and it just looks a lot cleaner this way. And you can, of course, customize your grid views. You can select how many rows or columns you want with Apex and you can change the text size. You can remove the text if you want to and you can change the icon size. You can scale pretty much anything you want and you can adjust the grids in both uh, portrait and landscape if you enable that feature. Uh, same thing with the home screen. If you want to do a landscape, you can do that as well. So you're gonna see everything changes accordingly, but you can disable or enable this all through Apex. It's very, very customizable. I love Apex. Uh, a lot of people complain about some things with Apex, but I, I've never really had any problems with them, uh, you know, specifically for my needs. Now I am using Super Widget for my clock and all of my detailed information. You're gonna see I have a clock, and then I have my date, my battery percentage indication, and my current weather conditions. So I will include this in the description below, uh, my Zuper widget. And you guys can install this and use it if you want to. And you can come in here with Zuper Pro that I use and edit anything else or change the colors or the opacity or transparencies if you want to. Um, and I'll include that in the description. But this is a really nice application if you've never used it. You can customize not only clocks, and the dates or anything like that. But you got a lot of different things that you can customize in here. Just to give you a quick look, um, if you go in here, you can actually choose which modules you want to use. Like if you tap on it, if you want it to bring up your clock, that's where you'll go and choose the application here from your app list. So super, super customizable. Um, if you want to change the name of the module, you can do that. You can anchor it, you know, based on the positioning of the screen values. I mean, there's a ton of different options in here and then you can obviously set it up to display the advanced parameters so you can like i said you can choose whether or not you want it to display the clock battery date calendar astronomy i mean there's all kinds of options within this application it's, it's really really nice um, but you'll see i do have it launch my clock here don't know why i didn't do that i guess i didn't touch it good enough but it will go into my clock settings and if i touch it now my font is super small in the date so it's a little crazy sometimes, but there you go. It goes into my calendar. I have it all set up. And then if I just tap over here, it will open up Zuper widgets where I can edit everything I want to accordingly. Um, you're going to notice down there at the bottom of the screen, you're probably thinking, hey, what's that Pi control? Uh, I'm actually using LMT launcher right now. Uh, and this can be enabled from all corners if you want, or just a specific one if you set it up that way. And I will go over in another video how to set this up. I know I did a video recently on Pi controls, but I'll go over a video on how to use LMT and how to go through the setting options there, like another little guide. That's pretty much what is on my Nexus device or what is on my Android right now. Now, obviously, I have a ton of applications I use, and I'll go ahead and put some of the more highlighted or the ones that are more useful in the description because it would take too long to really go over each specific application. I don't think you guys so, so much care as to the applications as you do as to what is actually on screen here, but that's pretty much it, you know? There's some great integration here with Apex. Uh, you can do pinch and go to home, different home screens or get your page selections here. Um, I only use one because I, like I said, I'm very minimal and simplistic and I finally got this set up the way I want it. But if you pinch, you'll be able to get all your pages. If you double tap, you'll get your settings with Apex. You can customize this as well. And if you long press on applications or icons, you can go in there and adjust those as well. And to real quickly show you what Apex is all about, if you've never used it, you have your home screen settings, your drawer settings, dock, folder, you can change your behaviors, you can change your themes, you can go into advanced settings and adjust a lot of certain values like whether or not you want your notification bar to be displayed on your home screen or not, and you can back up and restore. Now, if you buy the pro version, you'll get some advanced features and you can always restart the launcher as well if you encounter any errors or you just want to make sure 
that everything is up to date if you change any icons or what have you. But that pretty much sums it up. I mean, I am in fact using a lot of some of the best software available for the Android devices, not just Nexus 6 specifically, but uh, Chroma ROM is definitely one to go check out if you haven't checked it out in terms of ROM and it's super solid. It has some great features with the LED notifications and ambient display, rock solid performance, and definitely some of the best battery life with the Franco kernel that comes with it. It's always up to date and you can actually use the Vomer tweaks as well as the Franco app to control your CPU values or gestures or double tap to sleeps or double tap to wakes and what have you. But you can go in there and customize anything to your liking. You don't have to go and use what I have specifically, but this is just to give you an idea of what I use. Anyway, guys, that pretty much sums up what is on my Android Nexus 6 device. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and you might want to show me some more love by subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos, not only of the Nexus 6, but other devices in the future, as I'm always looking for resources to improve on and give you guys some more specific details on how to use apps or ROMs or just anything that is related to Android in general or electronics. Anyway, guys, I will catch you as always in the next video. Peace.